We want to continue our breaking news out of Taiwan. A 7.4 magnitude earthquake has hit off the country's eastern coast. You can see that these buildings are leaning over, looking like they are ready to collapse at any minute. There have already been several large aftershocks. Let's go to Ann Makovic, who's tracking the destruction from our newsroom and the images that we're seeing coming in. Ann? Yes, a major damage, Juliet, and we don't even know the extent of it yet, as this just happened within the last couple of hours, and the tremors continue. Here is a map of the epicenter. It was a 7.4 magnitude that hit off Taiwan's eastern coast. It prompted tsunami warnings for the island, and for southern Japan as well. Several aftershocks have hit the area since then, including one that registered a magnitude 6.5. And here is a look at some of the damage that we're starting to see come in. Several buildings leaning, partially collapsed. This is video from the city of Walleen. This is the strongest quake to hit the island in 25 years. The last big one was a 7.6 magnitude. Back in 1999, 2,400 people were killed. And and 50,000 buildings were damaged or destroyed. Here's some video from inside a TV newsroom right after the quake. This was in Taipei, which is almost 100 miles away from the epicenter. You can see the monitors and light fixtures there swaying as the ground shook. Now, closer to home, the U.S. Tsunami Warning Center says no tsunami threat to California is expected, but that some coastal areas might experience sea level changes. Nothing significant here, though. Let's check in with First Alert meteorologist Darren Peck now in our virtual view studio. And just a little perspective and a comparison on this, a 7.4 magnitude, if you think back to Loma Prieta, that was a 6.9. That was also notably farther away from, say, San Francisco, where a lot of the notable damage that we think of from Loma Prieta. So it was twice as far away. That is 7.4. Uh, the distance here uh, is about 80 miles from Taipei. So I'm just giving you the comparison there to the major population center. There are small communities on this side of the island where the earthquake happened, but if we look at the map differently, all the black dots on here show you where the population density is for Taiwan. So if there's any good news here, it's that this significant 7.4 earthquake at least happened on the other side of the island. But there are smaller towns and communities here. And just one way to look at this map for Taiwan, the areas that are shaded on that coastline in purple, there are a lot of similarities between some of the tectonics here and some of the landscape risks between Taiwan and here at home. One of them is liquefaction, and that's what this map is showing you. The areas here near the epicenter, there are several towns up and down. They're not major population centers, but enough that are at a higher risk for liquefaction. And some of the images that we are seeing look eerily similar to soft understory, collapse, uh, soft understory collapses. It's too early to get specific information like this in a situation so near the event happening. But the pictures do look eerily similar of weak soft understories collapsing. I've at least seen a few pictures of that coming through from, from what's coming out of Taiwan so far. But this is a certainly a developing story.